Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in any part of the world. So, um, as you can see on my screen, I am talking about LWC and today I am going to discuss a very, very interesting use case, which will be very useful to you and which you might have come across in your previous projects or maybe in upcoming projects. Yes. So let's get the party started now. So you can see on my screen that I am going to discuss something about communication between two independent components. Yes. So you might be knowing that we are basically uh, in LWC, we normally follow parent-child relationship. Parent-child communication is happening either from parent to child or child to parent, right? So that is one thing. But suppose you might encounter such a unique kind of scenarios where there are components, but they are not related to each other at all. You might want to communicate between two components there where there is no absolutely no relationship, parent-child relationship between each other. And they might, one component be... Uh, on one page, some other component is on another page. That can be a scenario also, right? And absolutely, they are not related, right? So I am going to discuss today how to tackle such kind of scenarios. So please, I request everybody who is watching this video to please pay attention. I will not take more than five to 10 minutes, yes? And, and you will see the magic shortly. I will go to the i will display the demo also so just now please uh, listen to me so yeah so see suppose there is component where a there is component b they want to communicate between each other right but they are not related they have no common parent no parent child relationship exists so so friends what can be the options in these cases there are basically three options. One is PubSub, Publisher Subscribe Model, but that is not a best practice. If you might have gone across through Salesforce documents or Trailhead or on website, Salesforce official website, you, you might have seen that PubSub is not a best practice. We can use it, but that is not recommended. Now, what is recommended then? So, there are two options that are recommended. One, either you can go with LMS, Lightning Messaging Service. You can also go with platform events. Okay. So now I am going to demo both these options and when to use where. Yes. Okay. So let me share my screen. Yes. So as you can see, I have, I have created two components. Yes. One is... Two LWCs and absolutely they are not related to each other. One is the publisher LWC and one is the subscriber LWC. Okay. So let me show you on VS Code also. So this is my publisher LWC. This is my subscriber LWC, right? There is absolutely no relationship between them. But I want to I want to send some data and communicate between each other automatically. For example, suppose I insert some account in publisher NWC that is in component one and there is a lightning table in component two that is the subscriber NWC. As soon as I insert a, an account in this component, it should automatically get refreshed. The second component that is the subscriber LWC will automatically get refreshed without refreshing, reloading this page. Yes, this is the magic. You just see what uh, I show you now. So for example, suppose I insert an account in publisher LWC, the name of the account, I can give any name. So let the name of the account be Einstein. Okay, so suppose now there are two options. I have shown, I will show you both the options on the same, uh, basically, uh, this uh, component, right? That how this LMS works and how the platform events demo, platform platform events works, right? 
So suppose I insert an account in publisher LWC, that is the LWC one, and I click here to see lightning message service, then what happens? See, I clicked account is inserted Einstein and it gets displayed in the second LWC that is the subscriber Einstein, right? I By default, I have uh, given the name of the industry as technology so that you can modify that can be customized uh, as per our requirement. So just to for the demo purpose, I have given this as the default name. Right? So can you see without refreshing, I am able to insert the account and I am displaying it in the lightning data table in second component which is present in the uh, subscriber LWC. Yes, these are the three fields which I am showing for now. Let us try one more scenario. Yes, so now is this Einstein. Suppose I insert part or Okay, now if I click again, then the account will get created and it will display in this lightning data table part on. Yes. Okay, this is one thing. So can you see, you can now imagine the beauty of lightning messaging service. Yes. So on one component, I am inserting an account or I am doing some action and the second component automatically without reloading the page listens to this action and displays or works as the way we have customized it. All right, now the second use case. So friends, these are two independent components, but they are on the same page right now, right? That is the home page. Inside this home page, this is component one, publisher LWC, and this is another component. So I am able to achieve this via lightning messaging service LMS. Yes. But suppose friends, there might be a more complex scenario, a more typical use case. Where these two components are spread across the DOM means they are not present in the same browser tab. They are present in different tabs. So for example, let me show you same scenario. What I, am, I have done is I have dis, uh, divided these two components in separate tabs. Okay, so let me show you. This is my one tab. Same component, publisher LWC, and that is present inside the publisher tab. Now, the other component, It's loading actually. Yes. So this is the another component subscriber LWC, which is in the subscriber tab. So you can see one is the publisher LWC is present inside publisher tab and subscriber LWC is present in, inside subscriber tab. Now I want to do communication between these two components, which are not related and also they are spread across the DOM, not present inside the same page as it was in the first case. Now what to do? Yes, so now suppose I click insert any account here, I should see it here automatically without reloading the page. So these two accounts which we have entered are the same accounts which we have entered in the first scenario, right? But where? These two use uh, LWCs were present in the same page, but right now they are present in the different tabs. Yes, different pages. Now what to do? So let us try this thing. So suppose I insert an account. Suppose I insert any new account, maybe uh, uh, let us say AI, okay. artificial intelligence. Now suppose friends, if I click this button, it will not work. Why? Because this works only if 
Lightning messaging service only works when you have components in the same page, same page, right? But now the pages are different. They are inside the different tabs. So in this case, here comes the beauty of the platform events. So yes. So as I have shown you, Lightning messaging service you can use when within the DOM means within the same browser tab. But now, since they are spread across the DOM, you can use platform events within or across in both cases. Okay. So in my scenario now, uh, these are spread across the DOM, right? So what I will do now, I will click the platform events. All right. I click this platform events are published successfully. So this should insert in the table and without reloading the page, I should be able to see it here, right? So yes, let us let me go. Let me click this. You can see AI. I have not reloaded this and this account is already, it's displaying me the, updating the table and displaying all the three accounts which I have entered recently. Let us try one more scenario. So. Let us suppose I give some account name Salesforce. Okay. And I click this. Yes. My post event fires, platform event published successfully. And without reloading the page, I am able to see the latest account in my Lightning data table without reloading the page. So friends, uh, this is a very useful scenario and I request you please try this once from your end. It's slightly complicated, but not so much. It's slightly tricky, but please try it. And if you have faced any difficulties or challenges, please post your comments on my YouTube video link. Okay, I will get back to you as soon as possible, right? So you can see, I have explained you the differences. This is not the only use case of platform events. Platform events comes with various use cases in which I will keep on showing in my upcoming videos. This is one of the use cases, but platform events have a huge plethora of use case scenarios. Basically, while integrating two applications which are not related to each other means, so for example, one application you have made in Salesforce, other one in Java or some other application, right? You want to communicate between the two applications. Java uses its own syntax. Salesforce uses its own syntax. Now, how to communicate means, suppose you uh, want that something once happens in this application, in Java application, and then it should fire an event and automatically Salesforce should react. So these kind of scenarios when you encounter, here comes the beauty of platform events, right? And LMS also has a huge variety of use cases, which I will be showing you in my upcoming videos. So thanks all uh, for listening to me and watching me. Thank you and have a good day. Yes, thank you.